So, I'm making this video because it's that time of year when it starts getting colder. And it's also that time of year when I start seeing posts show up in the homesteading forums in Facebook. Where the homesteaders are asking, do I add some sort of heating element to my barn or coop to help keep my animals warm through these winter months? And my first and automatic response is no. Because following this post is another post where someone has lost their barn or coop, and in most cases, most if not all of their animals in it, due to a fire caused by whatever heating element they chose to put in their structure. And it's tragic, and it's heartbreaking, especially considering the fact that it's something that could have been avoided. Even if you've put a heater that is designed to go in a barn or coop, I would still be careful because accidents happen. You're not in there all the time with your animals. You're usually in there to clean up their barn or coop or to do your chores, but mostly it's unsupervised. And your animals have the potential to knock into and knock over your heater. They can especially the, law, the smaller animals, like goats, cats, chickens, whatever, can try to jump on and perch on that heater, once again, potentially knocking it over, or uh, catching themselves on fire, and spreading the fire. Um, their bedding is flammable, especially bedding that has feces in it. That feces builds up ammonia. If you've got a stationary heater, it's going to build up heat in whatever area it's focused on. And that just builds and builds and builds until it ignites. Uh, especially if you have birds in there and um, their manure, as it dries, it turns dust-like. And that can float in the air build up on whatever heating source you have and just get to a point where it ignites. Um, also, I feel that adding a heater can also... Um, how do I put this? It can also negatively impact your animal's ability to build their own winter coat or plumage. Because think of it like having a dog or cat in your house all winter. And you've got the heater on. Their bodies, because they're in that temperature controlled environment, are not able to build up that winter coat because they're in that warmer environment. So if you've got a temperature controlled environment like your barn or coop, they're going to want to go out less and less. And that's not good for them. Uh, most animals can keep themselves warm during the winter. As long as you've got them properly set up, you know, their enclosure set up properly and feeding them right for those winter months. Um, your structure should be properly insulated. You should at least have most, if not all, the drafts blocked off. You still need ventilation because your animals do need fresh air and you need to be able to vent some of that odors from them defecating in there. Um, aside from making sure your walls and your roof are properly constructed, your floor is one of your biggest uh, contributor, ugh, contributors to letting the cold in because that cold just, it comes up. So one of the methods you may consider is um, deep litter, which helps to insulate them and it keeps them off that direct flooring. Because uh, think, of, think of walking into your kitchen during winter in the first thing in the morning, you know, that tile's cold. It's like that, if not, it's much worse, you know, in an outdoor enclosure. So that deep litter method really helps with that. 
um, you also need to keep your floor dry because if your floor is wet and cold that that's one way for all your animals to get sick and that that wet will magnify that cold and it's just not a, a not a good environment so if you've got something like ducks or geese in there you really don't want any waters in there because ducks and geese are aquatic birds they 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 want to play in that water until it's gone it's just what they do and it's not healthy for any of your other animals so i would like keep their waters outside unless you have a way to keep them from making a mess inside with it um if if you have roosting birds in there I would put those roosts as high as you can because heat rises and the higher up they are the warmer they're going to be and that that helps them a lot um, having the proper windows in your enclosure is really important too because having good windows will help uh, raise the temperature considerably in in your barn or coop if you have just the cheap thin windows that's like that's like having a hole in your wall that's just letting the cold straight in because that cheap thin glass it's like having nothing there um so keep that in mind uh, yeah aside from having the proper shelter uh feeding your animals really well during the winter is key to helping them survive and fend off getting sick or anything like that it's like think about wild animals how do they do it um, having having the adequate nutrients to 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 store up that energy is really key so yeah um that's pretty much it i'm sorry this if this video wasn't really cohesive i'm really new to videos so i've done I don't know how many takes of this video and I think the first take was the best and each take was just worse and worse so I'm sorry if it's a lot of rambling but um, yeah I really just wanted to sort of help if I can reduce the number of stories I see every year due to this totally avoidable kind of tragic story um, and I hope that helps. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching my video.